Alright guys, and welcome to darkness. <laughs> I was not expecting this. This is, uh, as you can tell from the title of the video, uh, the SOV server. Uh, it's day one, early spring, it's not even 7 o'clock, it's not even daylight. I, I'm fairly confident the guys are actually playing on the map. That's a bugger. Because this was the plan for the video today. I've got nothing else. Bother. Oh dear. Well, this is the Italian map. Is it the Italia? Does it say the Terra Italica? The Terra Italica. So at least I've loaded it onto the server. Just apparently nobody's playing on it. Okay. Well, I presume this is the default stuff you start off with. Then there'll be nothing interesting. I don't think there's any fancy mods, so I can put money the DJ in early if I had nothing to do with it. DJ likes feds, early likes JDs, and we do have MR though. We also have a lot of MP stuff. I just have to put a password in to join the game. <laughs> and set up a profile. I don't know what the hell that's about. I can also become a seller. Whatever that's about, I'm going to have to look into that mod. <laughs> for a cost of damage. <laughs> well, yeah, if this is the basic starting off of it. Yeah! Bother! There's nothing, is there? Do we even have... We don't even have any crops to sell. I've got zero money. <laughs> okay. It's not even daylight, is it? Oh, well, that was a... an epic fail on this video. But this is what happens when you don't jump on TeamSpeak. About the loop. I don't know what the plan is. Ah. So... Let's talk about payday, shall we? We'll talk about payday. What I've bought for payday. It's, uh, the weather should be starting to warm up soon. There's a there's a, an evil rumour out there that maybe the sun's going to shine. It's yet to prove its bloody self. It's still raining. Or raining again, rather. So, the world is wet. Wet, wet, wet. But hopefully, hopefully, caravan season is nearly upon us. And I need to do a couple of jobs to be van. I'll be car. My car's got a knock at the front. I am 99% sure it is the wishbone. So, uh, if we tap over to this bad boy, and we come down to here, and then we go to here, you can see everything that's open. <laughs> I'm loading a video! <laughs> I thought this one. This is what's on the car at the minute. And it's a pretty cool design. Normally, is that going to open up enough? Ha ha ha, that's better, isn't it? Should have done that first time. But normally, it's got a thread on here, and you thread it down, it'd go into the. Oh, what the hell is it called now? I don't actually know the name for that, the hub. I think it's the hub. I imagine it's called the hub. Everything bolts to it. One way or the other. Well, normally, anyway, that doesn't. But that bolt is normally a pain in the ass to get off. And once you get it off, it's then a pain in the ass to get that out. That looks a lot better design. It's basically this goes into a hole, and then a bolt goes through and nips it and clamps it. And the bolt that's gone through just sits in that groove there, so it won't drop out or work free. The reason I really like this is though, because that bolt is now going side to side. I could get tools on that to get it out. That's a big bolt. I could get tools on that to get it out. That's a bolt there and the other side of it is another bolt. Yeah, there's one there and there's like one at the top of this silver part here. I could get them as well. This could be a really quick job. This could be a record-breaking attempt at swapping a wishbone. Because <laughs> everything you could get at with proper ratchets, you don't have to try and ferret a spanner into there and then try and get enough pressure on it to turn it off. Oh dear. <coughs> Was everything corrodes underneath cars, especially in the UK? Nice damp. And this is coming out of winter as well, the roads have been gritted. Oh, grit. That looks a right mess of motors. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to having a crack at this wishbone. And I'll be even happier if that's the problem. It's either the wishbone, the drop links, or the tracker end. Now I'm giving it a shake, a wiggle, I've had the prime under there, bending it around. The only one I can see flexing is that one and that one. 
that moves and that allows it to move. So I'm pretty sure it's those two that have worn out. It's an age thing. The car is... 13 years old? 14 years old? 2014. 14 years old. 14 year old car. My caravan is the same age as my sister. I've just realised that now. <laughs> She's a whole blesser. 26? 26 this year. Yeah, 26 this year, my car. Caravan. Caravan. <laughs> car sports. I like all the stuff. All the stuff you can fix yourself. Uh, it was, the price was on that, wasn't it? There's £26.89 free postage. That's cool. That's a nice price for a wishbone. I like that. And I can fix it myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hazard a guess, but if I could get the big ratchet on them, this will be off really quick. I do have a ball joint separated to put through there, or pry bars, but a little bit of wire brush it to take the crap off, and that should slide straight out. Should. Famous last words, eh? <laughs> uh, it's the caravan. We bought this gadget. This is for removing the water filter. Uh, it was new in last year. Oh, there's a water filter. Those bad boys. But they get a little bit tough to get with your fingers. So you buy this, crank it out, job done. It may need replacing, it may not. But I've got that just in case I do. I haven't, well, I've seen it this year, but I've not given it the going over. That's going to be on Friday next week. We're going to try and get away for the weekend. So I need to get some videos done to keep you guys entertained. We'll see how that works out, because I'm struggling at the minute. It's like free advertising, isn't it? <laughs> £8.50, free postage, boom, done. I've also got a problem with the front locker. The barrel of the lock is dead, so the lock spins. Now this is for an Eldis. It's GLL5, it's the old one, I believe. And this is the most expensive part. Is it it? No, it's not. But still, that's a lot of money for a fiddly little lock. There doesn't be much information about these either. It's a challenge. And I don't want to phone a bell because I know they're going to sting me. <coughs> but I've looked at pictures. I've obviously looked at mine. It looks the same. That metal tab's different on mine, though. So either I'm hoping that the tab on mine I can take off and put on there, or... That's better, isn't it? I can point it out. This part here. Mine sort of... Uh, Angle, God, my nose is going, it's going to be a fail. Right angle's this way, and it's got a cut out in it, because it grabs onto a bar. It's like a a latch for a gate, sort of thing. That would rely on the barrel to hold the tension. And it'll just sit me out of play. I don't know, I might have to modify my caravan. We'll see. I'm hoping, though, my tab will fit on there, because that's a screw. Unscrew that, it'll be a square end, or an angle like an end of a screwdriver or something daft. Hopefully an easy swap, job done. That will screw off there, put it in, without a man of ink, done. New keys, new lock, sorted. Happy days. Now I just have to hope that the caravan's still dry, because it's been a horrible winter of rain and snow and God knows what else. Uh, she's an old van. As I said, she, she's an old van, 26 this year. It has had a damp, prob uh, a damp problem before, but it was fixed before I got it. Well, I say it was fixed. The leak was fixed. The plywood and everything else wasn't pulled out and repaired. Repaired? Oh, my nose. <coughs> it's effectively bad today. I need to quit these things. Need to quit them. But anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all I've got to share, guys. <laughs> Just filling in the time. The daylight's coming on a bit, look. It's getting a bit brighter. I know the guys want to crack on with playing on the map before. Someone might have started something. Well, yep. nothing. Oh well. <laughs> ah. Well, if you've enjoyed me talking about the caravan a little bit, please sub, like and share, guys. All the support for the channel is very much appreciated. Hopefully, I'll have... This is probably where we're going to end up playing, and hopefully these particular episodes will have some action at some point. Because I don't want to start anything if this isn't the map the guys want to play on. This could have just been a tester. But it doesn't look like it's been tested or anything. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And on that note, I'll catch you next time. Let us. <laughs>